today's video is going to be all about the latest innovation for period hygiene have you heard of menstrual disc yes it's the new period products very similar to a menstrual cup very similar to a period cup but it is different from a period cup so the idea behind this product is that it's supposed to afford you more comfort so if you want to learn all about the menstrual disc today keep watching this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel i am dr amarachi ijama i am a fertility physician and my channel focuses on everything in fertility and women's health so if this is the kind of content you're interested in keep watching <music> every day we keep finding better and more convenient period products by the end of this video you would be the one to decide whether this period is better and if you should use it so i'm going to be telling you all about the menstrual disc first what is a menstrual disc it is a period product it's a period product alternative to pads tampons menstrual cups you can wear it for longer hours in the day that says you can wear it for up to 12 hours what does this period product do it actually is like a disc the way the menstrual cup is like a cup the menstrual disc is like a disc what it does is that it actually collects blood for up to 12 hours in a day until it's full and then you bring it out and you discharge the content you pour the content into a toilet and flush so unlike the menstrual cup menstrual disc does not have a stem it does not have a stem to pull down so it's actually flatter and then when you're inserting it it goes way higher into the vaginal phonix so because it doesn't have a stem you know usually the menstrual cup you know is a cup with a stem you hold on the stem when you want to take out your menstrual cup you pull on the stem to bring it out so because the menstrual disc doesn't have a stem it sits higher you can actually have sexual intercourse while on your period and it will not be messy that's one of the advantages of menstrual disc how do you insert a menstrual disc it's just like a menstrual cup it requires a little practice so you don't just take the menstrual disc once and then you get it usually it takes about two three trials that's two three different cycles to practice with before you get comfortable with it but the catch is when you get comfortable with it you would really like it like you won't feel a thing so before you use the menstrual disc you sterilize it you wash it you also wash your hands then you find a comfortable position to be able to insert it into your vagina you could either sit on the toilet to insert it you could squat to insert it or you could stand and raise one leg on a prop prop one leg up so that you'll be comfortable while inserting it so after you found this your comfortable position eh you get the disc and then you squeeze it till it's the size of a tampon then you insert the part that is down and back into your vagina keep taking it all the way up till the farthest that it can go and then release it will open up and it will stay and then you wait for 12 hours depending on how heavy or how light your flow is so you have to also practice this if you know you have like super heavy flow with you know blood clots maybe after every four hours you check to see if it's full you know with your next day and your next period and your next cycle you would be able to you know keep stretching the amount of hours that you put it to know how long you can actually leave it in your vagina before you actually remove it to empty the content so this is for people with heavy flow for people with light flow you can wear it for as long as 12 hours now how do you remove the menstrual disc this is where it gets tricky because it could be messy you know it doesn't have a stem to pull on so when you're trying to take it out it could be messy so listen to how i'm going to explain it again you wash your hands because you're actually going to be using your hand your fingers reaching into your vagina to bring it out so your hands have to be clean then after you finish washing your hand you sit on the toilet because you could spill the contents while you're bringing it out like i said it can be a little bit messy so you sit on the toilet this is preferable actually for at least when you're starting to use it so you sit on the toilet and then 
you reach into your vagina you reach for the rim of the menstrual disc and try to pinch on it to bring it to pull it out so while you're pulling it out it might spill but at least then you're sitting on the toilet seat sometimes it could be really high up in the vaginal phonics and you're not able to really reach for the rim to get to it in that case there's something you can do you act like you're trying to poop when you act like you're trying to poop you are increasing your abdominal and your pelvic muscles so this will bear down on the menstrual disc by pulling it down a little bit and then you'll be able to reach for it and then you pull it out and empty the content into the toilet so the estimated period that this menstrual disc can actually contain is equivalent to five regular or three super tampons that is a whole lot the risk of complications with menstrual discs are so rare so here's one more thing most menstrual discs are disposable so it's not eco-friendly it's not environmental friendly but for all the other reasons which it has a lot of other advantages it's left to you should you use a menstrual disc this is a question only you can answer should you try to use the menstrual disc why not there's no harm in trying the only way you would know if it's a good fit for you or if you're comfortable with it is only if you try so i hope this video was informative this video was only meant to create awareness on a recent period product available if you found the video informative and you enjoyed watching this video click the subscribe button below like this video comment share with your friends and see you in my next video